hey good people welcome to freedom with frida if you're new here kindly subscribe if you've been here since day one thank you so much for supporting this girl now i'm coming to you with a big forehead huge forehead and this hair that is growing every single day and bad nails which we are about to fix okay but before you do that anyone who's read this book anyone gonna need some more wine it's an amazing book so guys this is what i'm reading if you haven't read it i think you need to grab it because this woman i i love just how she puts her words there how she's so empathetic how she's just herself how she's like i'm just like, i'm just going to talk about my truth i am not going to feel like people judge me i don't care about your opinion i'm just going to say the way i feel it should be said grab the book now let's get moving. I just want to show you guys how I fix my nails just in case you you're caught up in a situation where you're supposed to go somewhere and your nails are bad. Now uh, to start with you have to be prepared. You have to have the things that you need to make your nails. Or again if you don't have money to go to the salon this is a quick way of having decent nails. Not really that good because um, when you go to the salon they have different ways of doing it. They could do gel, they could do uh, acrylic there's something they apply on top which i don't use so for me just nails that will look good and have colorless that will make them shine and if you want to apply cutex you can go ahead and do that and just it takes you around 30 to 45 minutes okay so some of the things you need is uh, this i hope this focuses this is a glue this glue goes for a hundred bob and for me it goes for like i use it for seven to eight sometimes one year because you use very little of it and again depends on how often you change your nails so for me my nails take three weeks to a month so meaning in a year i change my nails either 12 times or or 13 times that is if i do nails every single day so this will last you at least seven to eight months okay it goes for a hundred bob okay then you've got to have your nails at uh, this time i'm using they, 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 they brought different nails so for me i look for the sharp ones the sharp ones for me last longer they hold um longer and they last longer and then they um they look a little bit different from the others and um stronger even when you're you're putting them it's stronger and you can feel that they're strong then they have different colors okay so this one is nude let me give you the looks so, okay this is this is what i use it goes for 50 bob so this is nude you can have different colors like what i have is pink this is what i've been having i've just cut my nails because i need to replace them so that goes for 50 bob and you need this it's a file it's emasia by the way i need to get another one then you need this this file goes for 100 bob this one goes for i think 150 or 200 bob this one i used to remove my nails when i do not have um what is it called what is it called acetone so if you have nails on stick ons or you have um what are they called what are they called why am, why are these things disappearing um tips tips on you can use acetone now today i'm not going to show you how i remove my nails maybe for another day I just, i'm just going to show you how i fix them so and then you need this this again goes for 250 or 300 bob so the good thing is when you buy this stuff is this and a file a file will take you a few months or so this one you're not going to buy it again unless you lose it and again this one you won't buy it again and again you don't necessarily need this okay but for me i need it because like right now my nails have been here for the last one month one week so i need to remove i don't use acetone sometimes so i just peel them since they are almost out they'll just come out easily but it's good to use acetone then you need colorless cutex and just in case you want to have a color on your nails you can have any different colors so that's all we need so guys i'll be coming back with to you and just show you how i fix for now let me remove these ones so we have my real nails okay so guys i'm back I've just removed my nails. They look terrible. You can have a look at this. They look really terrible. So they are rough because there was glue in it. 
So the next step is you take your file and file your nails, okay? Like just file them to remove the glue that was there, especially if you had any stick on or, or um, tips. But if it was just your nail, you just file a little bit. When it's there was glue used, you got a file to just remove the glue so you don't apply another glue on top of another one. So we start the filing. Slowly, you don't have to hurt, you don't want to hurt yourself. So normally this is how I do it. At the corners, especially that's where the glue sticks the most. So let's keep filing. Meanwhile, I'll begin the story. I'll be back once I'm done filing. So the next step is take your nails. They are around 20, I think. Normally they are 20. So take your nails. Um, maybe 20 or 12, I don't know. Th these nails have numbers, okay? So like this is number zero. Normally I realize that number zero fits for my thumb. So you gotta take your, your nails and I don't know where to place them. Let me use this book. Let me get a paper that is clear. So guys, um, these are my nails. You gotta take numbers, look for the numbers. Then you have to estimate what nail fits to what finger. Okay, because we have different sizes of fingers. Like for me, my fingers are thick. So number zero will fit to my thumb like this. So when it fits like that, let me just show you. It has a number inside, which is zero. I hope whether you can see that. You can't see the number really, but they have numbers. So normally I take, I place there, I'm able to see whether it fits. Make sure it's not big and it's not so small, okay? So it should just fit so that when you put the glue and you fix it um, and just press on it, then it sticks and fits perfectly. So this number zero normally somehow they fit to everyone different finger that's why they are many so i take this and take another zero so every zero there are two zeros so two zeros that will fit for my thumb so place aside look for my next finger i don't know the name of this finger <laughs> so um i'll try different numbers i'll try number five number five looks like it's perfect again so i'll take number five and another number five for the other finger since all your fingers um, are the same sizes different hands like your thumb and your thumb is just the same size so number five will fit for that then I'll move to the next finger and try different number number four number four looks smaller so if it's smaller you get a bigger one so three Three looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. So yes, three. I arrange them just uh, so I'm able to fix them. So that's what I do first. I arrange them, pick number three, number three, number two, number two. So the next finger is this, the, the ring finger here. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, how do you call these fingers? Like, I know each has a different name. I only know the thumb. So we do not really fuse that core class two or is it class three? So number four, I realize will fit onto this one. So I take number four and another number four. Okay. And number four. Where is number four? And number four. Then the small finger, of course, goes to the small um, nail. This looks bigger. Let's see whether there's a smaller one. Okay, this will fit perfectly. So this is number seven. Let me try number eight. We even have number eight. I think number seven will just fit perfectly. Um, there we go. So number eight. 
so I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So normally they are 20. So what you do once you are done selecting, you make sure you preserve the others because sometimes your nail could come out. And especially if it's your first time. If your first time fixing yourself, then I can promise you in a week's time there will be one out. So you can definitely just replace. Okay, so this is how I preserve them. For next time, for me, I'm used to it, so they never come out. Next step is you take your your nail. That one thing I forgot to mention, make sure your nails, um, you've cut them short. Don't put nails on top of your nails that are long, okay? They won't last long. And it's, it doesn't make sense why you're putting nails on top of long nails. So you start with whatever finger you feel like. For me, I'm used to starting with the thumb. So... Uh, and normally I start with my left hand side. I don't know why. <laughs> I think my right hand side is more active. Then you take your glue. My goodness, this this is so. I'm sure you do that. You use your your teeth to open things. So, not any difference. So you take your glue, just a little bit. If you apply on the tip of it, uh, I'll let you know where and what side to apply. This is not much. Then close. Make sure you place that thing very far away from your body because if it, that thing pours on your body, then this is how I hold it. Then I push it in. I push it in, guys. And hold on to it. Press it. Every side, okay? Just press it like that. And that's how it looks like so it's already it has already stick it's stuck there and it's strongly holding there okay the glue is a very strong one so it's strongly holding there so the other thing i forgot to mention is this is how your nail look like okay one of the sides has um it's slightly lighter this other side so this is a side you stick or this is a side that goes into your finger this other side the sharp end should be on the outside of the of your finger so it goes in like that hope that makes sense so let's get moving that's the first finger you can see it's nakatu it fits to my finger pretty well okay so moving on this glue, my friend, you don't want to place it anywhere and does not, you make sure it doesn't pour anywhere on your clothes because it leaves a mark that never comes out. And it can burn your body pretty badly. So just a little bit of it. Hold it. This is how I hold it. And push it into your finger like that. Make sure it's touching to the end part of your finger like this. Okay? That is for stick on. When it's it's um tips, again, tips have to be somewhere. I don't like tips because it takes time to fix them. I am able to fix them, yes, but it really takes time. And filing, a lot of filing because it needs to balance with your the other part of your nail. So guys, you do that, keep doing that. So I'll keep fixing the other nails then. We get back. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There's no glue inside. Guys, again, another thing I need to mention, if you use a lot of glue, your glue will pop. So if you look at it like this, then you'll be able to see your glue. But for me, it's clear. It's totally clear. 
right so that's how it looks like so let's fix the next hand but before that normally my left hand is not able to work with long nails so i'll cut them then we move to the next or you can still fix with all the long nails if you're used to long nails for me i'm not used to such long nails so this is what i used to cut my nails okay so for the first time when i'm cutting because i'm not sure how i need i've not like made up my mind how i need how long i need them and all that i just just reduce them eh? so this is what you do Typically, this just makes your work easy. You can use a nail cutter. So all it does, it just makes your work easy. Okay, and and gives you a shape, some 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 sort of a shape, you know, because it's balance. So there are different ways of cutting your nails. You could is you could use it this way, or you just put it in. And then clap it when it's like that but for me i use it on the outside part of it it gives me that kind of a shape then i'll use my file later to just make my nails look better and just give the shape that i want them to have so let's move on and fix this other hand and my left hand my friend does not do quite a good job so sometimes i fix my left hand and you can see my nails is facing left and those are some of the things you experience if you're new to fixing nails so let's move on to the next hand. You do the same. right so here we go that's how my nails look like i have very fat fingers by the way so that's how my nails look like after cutting them and after fixing them you can see the inside bit again it's clear there's no glue so again you go for your file and whatever shape you want now if you want just um i don't know what the name of this shape there are those that are very sharp so you can just the file will give you the shape depending on how you you want to file them for me i don't do a lot of filing when i'm done so just this just give them a shot I, I normally want love the rectangle kind of shape sometimes i do the sharp shape again the file will do that for you very easily it doesn't take time to file them so i guess it has taken me around seven or so or so minutes to to fix them you see it's not a it, the work comes in when you have to remove the previous nails and filing if your nails have too much glue i think that's the much work that is there otherwise these other parts no so i don't like the sharp ones sometimes because i don't know i actually i don't know why i don't like the sharp size the sharp shape the sharp shape Oof. okay so here we go so normally if you're starting this is a very long um, size for you so don't leave it so long 
for me i'm used to it with time you get used to it and you can have longer ones so you see so when you file there's some part of the uh, products or filing that are left inside so you just remove them the file will do that now if you have if you want to do gel now you can do gel on top of these nails that is if you have gel in your house and you have that machine that is used but for me i just want nails i rarely do gel my nails just work perfectly and since i can do them myself i'm good to go i save that money i don't know whether the money is though i don't see it but i save the 1500 nowadays 500 you you're able to fix your nails so it's cheaper nowadays so but it's still fixing yourself is cheaper because when you buy a file it stays there for long uh your nails is 50 but so much what you'll be buying every now and then is a 50 pack of nails okay because the one the left nail the 10 of them can't regain fit you just have to buy another pack but for me i don't file a lot because they are i'm used to long nails they don't want them I'm not so particular with shapes really. I guess I'm also not good with shaping them. Okay. All right. So we're good to go. That's how my nails look like. Normally my left hand has, normally they are longer. I don't know how, I find myself having longer nails on my left hand than my right. Maybe because my, my right hand, oh, light, woof. My right hand is more active. So after this, what I do is I clean my hands, go to the sink. So yes, guys, I've cleaned my hands and they're clean now. So you can either apply whatever color you want your nails to have, because these are nude. So any color will fit or you just have colorless. And for now, I just feel like doing colorless and that's it. So. These are good color though. This color is really good. It just looks really pretty. But for now, I just want to do colorless and just leave them like that. So you can have either one layer or two layers for me i go for two layers so after a few minutes i'll be able to apply another layer so that's it guys that's how my nails look like i hope you like it i hope you love it it did not take me much for me it takes me around 30 to 40 minutes um and i'm in a hurry 30 minutes i'm done and i'm off to go and my nails look good I can now hold my phone pretty well so thank you so much guys i'll leave everything on the description box below in case you have any question leave on the comment below and i'll be able to get back to you until next time thank you so much for stopping by always speak well of yourself always always be very careful what you say about yourself so speak well of yourself until next time bye